Welcome. The Customer Managed Devices feature provides an interface for third-party devices to register to a workspace instance on the WebEx Calling platform. These third-party devices provide functions like security door access phones and overhead intercom paging systems. The term Customer Managed means that the end customer is responsible for provisioning, onboarding, and maintaining the device configuration. When the Customer Managed device is assigned as a workspace on the WebEx Calling platform, the required interface data is exposed on Control Hub to the organization administrator. The administrator provisions this interface data into the third-party device via the device's web browser. Once the device is properly provisioned, it will register to WebEx Calling and will be able to make calls. The vendors supported by this interface are 2N, Algo, CyberData, Grandstream, and Single Wire. Note, customer-managed devices are only assignable to workspace instances. Assigning to user instances are not supported. There are several ways to add a customer-managed device to a new or existing workspace. In this video, we will show how to add a customer-managed device to a new workspace via the Manage Devices tab on Control Hub. From the Customer View in Control Hub, locate Management and select Devices, then Add Device. From the Add Device window, select Workspace and click Next. Then select the New Workspace tab. From here, define the workspace name and then click Next. Proceed to select Cisco IP Phone tab and at the Select Device menu, select Customer Managed Device. Choose the device vendor name from the Allowed Devices menu. Note, at this time, only approved third-party devices can be added. Next, locate and enter the MAC address from the device. Also, please read and confirm the disclaimer. This disclaimer informs the administrator to secure the data that will be provided on the coming screen and Cisco's policy for supporting devices registering on this interface. Once the disclaimer is confirmed, click Next. Finally, assign a location and phone number and or extension to the workspace. When complete, click Save. A confirmation screen will appear with important information that you will use to finish the provisioning process of your customer managed device. Note, you'll use the information presented on this screen to provision your device. Please write or copy your SIP username and password. You can also download this information in a CSV file for your records. For security reasons, always ensure these credentials are secured. This will also be the last time you'll be able to see the password in full. It will be obfuscated from Control Hub when the device is accessed again. To search for a device in Control Hub, locate Management and select Devices. From the search field, start inputting your device name. Results will auto-populate in the table below. Locate and select the Customer Managed Device to make changes. From here, the device status and device interface data will be presented in the right-hand panel. The SIP password is obfuscated. You will need to regenerate it if you do not remember the password. It is recommended that customers occasionally rotate this password to keep the interface secure. From the Settings window, click Regenerate Password under the Details panel. Confirm your selection by clicking Regenerate. Your newly regenerated password appears in the field. Note, the regeneration of the password will break the connection with the associated device. The new password will need to be provisioned into the device to restore the connection. This password is visible on this screen only and will be obfuscated when returning to this page. Please copy and keep this information for your records and future use.